the earthquake never arrives unannounced. It starts as a soft whisper and suddenly all the animals perk up and listen. While people sleep through the night, the ground silent, the sky calm. In the hidden world of nature, certain creatures feel something coming. Long before humans feel the first tremor, nature already knows. From cats to elephants, creatures across the planet react to invisible signals. Pressure, magnetism, vibration, the language of the earth itself. No machine can translate it, but instinct can. On a quiet night, when the ground lies still and the stars seem calm, something beneath begins to stir. Micro vibrations ripple through layers of rock, too subtle for human senses, yet clear as thunder to those attuned. The cat paces restlessly, its tail flicking, its whiskers picking up frequencies that even our most precise instruments can barely detect. The dog begins to bark into the darkness, hearing the first pee wave, a sound that comes seconds before the earth moves. The snake, closer to the soil than any other, feels the magnetic field twist and flees its burrow moments before the world shakes. It is not seeing ghosts, it is sensing the first wave that precedes the earthquake itself. In Germany, scientists notice something remarkable. Ants stop working hours before a quake. They emerge from their tunnels and stand still, frozen like an army awaiting orders. Frogs in Italy leaped from their ponds just before disaster hit. Poisonous gas was leaking from the ground, causing panic everywhere. And in Africa, elephants ran in herds before distant tremors, sensing the deep frequencies through the soles of their feet. A vibration that travels faster through the ground than the sound of disaster travels through the air. None of these creatures own technology. None have laboratories or sensors, yet their awareness surpasses ours. They do not analyze the earth, they listen to it. The same planet that builds mountains also sends quiet warnings before it breaks them. They hear it every single time. For millions of years, this instinct, this silent dialogue between life and the living planet has kept them alive. But nature built senses to feel it. One is intelligence, the other intuition. And in the end, when the earth speaks before it shakes, the question isn't whether animals can hear it, it's whether we still can.